me and my partner decided to go to one of the temples. So there we driving on the road. There is a lot of monkeys all over. They sitting no worries. They sitting there. And uh, so we got to the temple. It is a Chinese temple. It's not a temple, I should say it's a shrine. And there is a lot of uh, statues and all that. So it was good to come and just to take some photos of the statues. And um, so, yeah, so uh, I thought I'd come here and look at it. And this is the humongous statues of one of the Buddhist gods, uh, there is the dragon, and so on. So it was somewhere around six meters. It's right it is on on the uh, uh, right on the waters on the Gulf of Thailand. So it had a good position, a nice uh, you know a nice place to be in, and. So there we were walking around and I saw this water and all that. Looks the place is not taken care of very well. I oh. walked a bit further and I saw a gem for uh, photography. Look at it. So uh, there I uh, lift my camera. I took some photos in this spot. There was a lot of uh, you know houses and then there's the water and all that. Then the sky, I saw there is a, a tree with no leaves, uh, just uh, so I thought that is a good photo will be taken for. So that's what I did. There wasn't much there, the place was dirty, and the, so I started taking photos of people working there or sitting there, and these are some workers I did take photos of, and that's the photo I took earlier and I walked away to next uh, I went outside to see what I can have next Is to photographs and so I saw these monkeys looking in the bag and uh, wandering around so uh, I stayed there for some time with these monkeys to look around and almost I was walking away on this big bank so I stopped. Uh, I kept going on the monkeys, uh, took some photos of them as well and while I'm walking I'm looking what they're gonna do and um, yeah so I kept walking, wandering around, looking what I can take uh, because the temple wasn't uh, a place to take photos really. Uh, the statues, they were very old, very dusty, very dirty. Uh, some are broken, so I, I didn't feel like, I didn't have the, uh, feel the energy for, uh, didn't kind of, I did not have a contact with 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 the with the with the shrine, so I, I couldn't. So I just left, and uh, yeah. So there is the monkey. Uh, looking at this monkey here on top, watching him for a couple of seconds, and bang, he's gone. So I, I walked away again, and uh, there I saw this uh, place. I took a photo of, and uh, there it is. I kept walking around after this photo is being taken, got to this kind of uh, it's a beginning of a bridge, uh, a street basically, it's around the mountain, goes around the mountain, and there is the uh, Gulf of Thailand again. So I crossed the road to look what's in there. The day was very cloudy, it really was not very uh, nice bright day but only cloudy day, just a bit of sun, a bit of reddish there but it's kind of going to sunset but it wasn't really a great yeah. deal. So I you went you and I walked to and, uh, the, the, uh, below, uh, close to the going to the water 
and then I look looking at things as not much of light, uh, not much of energy into the, you know into the atmosphere. But uh, then I thought of uh, a a trick I used to do before, uh, not a trick, but kind of for, uh, some photos I used to take for fun and uh, good abstract to add them on the wall. So I, I did that, then um, as you can see in the photos here, I kind of put them uh, so you can see them. It's a lot of colors, a lot of energy. Uh, it really made my day when I saw them. So it was good to, to see all that. And uh, yeah, so here it is, I'm gonna put them for you guys. And here they are. So look at the colors, look at the brown, and there was the blue, and there's the green, and all that. It's just close to the water and just was beautiful. So if you want to know anything about this, uh, next uh, video will uh, publish how to do this kind of work. So if you want to subscribe, so I can. Uh, I can uh, send you a message when uh, I start, uh, when the day I publish uh, the video. You can watch it straight away, so you, you will know how to do this kind of work. It's very easy, and so on. So uh, I hope you will do so. Now uh, there is this one here again. I, I was looking at the monkeys uh, more. Uh, again, I start taking some photos of the monkeys again. And uh, it, it is fascinating when you're looking at the monkeys, what they do, uh, where they go, and so on. It just makes you uh, feel good, feel nice. But uh, so I, I was, I was lo looking at them and kind of uh, start thinking, oh, you know, like uh, th these animals are not scared of us. Uh, we know I'm not scared of them. Uh, if I keep distance, uh, they will keep their distance. Unless I have food, then they come to me to give them the food. But other than that, they just walk past and not even look at you. So I, I, I was looking, it was really a strange feeling. So I start thinking, why can't we human live next to each other or be good to each other and not to harm each other? So I kind of, I feel, I don't know why, but I feel that kind of a way. So the photos, I want, I start thinking of something, human animals, what they can do. And, you know, this artist thing to come into me and, kind of start feeling something. So I, 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 I was wandering around for some time here, looking at them and just could not stop thinking about it. And uh, so there I start, oh, okay, let me take a photo. And that's the idea I have. I'm gonna show it to you straight away now. And it just, I asked my partner, to take a photo of me so she, you know, uh, so I can document it uh, on, my, on my work. So here it is, guys. So there it is, the work I end up doing is, that's the photo I was thinking of, and that's the idea of why I want to take a photo like that, to document the way I was feeling, the way I was kind of uh, saying to myself, if we can coexist with animals, why struggle to do the same with our fellow human? Uh, and then uh, start thinking. Uh, I was start thinking about how there's so many wars, wars, so many killing, people looking for wealth, people hate each other. Uh, there's so much violence in the society. So all that, I was going through it, but kind of because I was so, I was thinking about this, but I was at peace. I wasn't really outraged or anything like that, but I was at peace. 
but at the same time I was thinking why these things are happening. So I kept going and uh, I looked around, there's not much to go. Uh, then I, I looked at the other side to take some more extra photos, some more photos, but really the day was not that, it, it giving me that, see, I'm looking, I said, nah, nah, it's not really that good. But then I kept looking, but I still, I want to take photos. So I was looking more and more for some other avenue to take photos. And I got this one uh, here, guys. And so when I do something like that, here is the photos. Uh, it's, it's the same as I did uh, the photos earlier. So it's so fascinating. Uh, if you love your photography, if you love your job, you will do whatever they to keep that camera uh, in your hand. It's not, don't get bored, uh, just take these photos, have an idea, take a photo, even the sun, so there's no sun and so on. But keep, look, I keep looking for any idea, anything comes up and so on. So it, it makes it more interesting to look. Please don't forget the like button and subscribe so you can be notified for my next video and to know how I did the techniques I did earlier so you can have some abstract photos to be proud of. I thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a good day. Thank you.